Hello everyone. I just got back from uni. Me and my friend went to the gym and we signed up for it. So I'll now start being a little bit more active and being a little bit more athletic because I'm just really lazy. It would be really good for me, you know, just general health wise because it's not good to not move at all. Then I go to uni and I do walk to the tram, but then I take the tram and then I walk from the tram to uni. But I wouldn't call that exercise really. So I think just general health, heart things, it's good to get some exercise. So because I have not a forest near me um, and like doing sports in a city is kind of not fun. So I signed up with a gym. How was this popcorning? One of my classes got cancelled. That was exciting. Unfortunately, it got cancelled while we were already sitting in class. So instead of going home, I went to a cafe with some of my friends and we had some nice carbonated water with mint and some nachos and cheese. try out if the guinea pigs like this so I'm going to take a small piece of this and I'm going to cut it in four pieces so that they all get something because um, I don't think you should give them too much of it oh it smells really good <laughs> okay let's see if I like it I'm sorry for the weird lighting, by the way. The sun is shining into the guinea pig's cage. For a little one, it's especially difficult with the sun because his eyes are red. You like it, Pebbles? <laughs> yeah, oh. Oh, so there's absolutely no question if you like it. Oh. Okay, Frida, where's? Pebbles had two pieces. Frida now has her piece because Pebbles had two and Frida stole one from Pebbles. And apparently they didn't even sniff. They didn't even need to sniff it. They immediately like it even though they've never... Oh, I don't know, Sylvester might have had this before, but definitely Pebbles, Frida and Little One have never had beetroot before. But it's an instant success. That's what my finger looks like now. So I'm just sitting here with my grapes, because grapes are my favorite fruit. And I'm doing a little bit of research for a research project or more. Like my term paper, that's what it looks like. Doing research, I like thinking about thesis. I have to present a selected bibliography, my general idea about my term paper, all this kind of stuff. So I'm now getting into the topic and I'm looking for things on the novel The Great Gatsby. Probably going to write on something about unreliability of the narrator, so that's kind of what I'm looking at. So I have some papers open. And that's what always happens when I start doing stuff for uni. I start watching YouTube, because I just can't focus. <laughs> but yeah, um, I still came up with three ideas for a thesis statement. So I guess I was kind of productive. I kind of came up with Fitzgerald makes use of the unreliable narrator to point out I have three things that he might be pointing out with that. Um, but they all have to do with the American dream. So I maybe have to think about something else as well, just in case if my professor says, nope. <laughs> Good morning everyone, I'm now pretty much on my way to the gym. I just need to pack a few things and I'm wearing my Gryffindor <laughs> shirt, which I really like. But yeah, I'm meeting my friend for the gym um, because we both signed up yesterday. So I have this bracelet 
which is my gym membership, which is really important. If I lose it, I have to pay 10 euro. So that's the first time we're going and I'm kind of excited to try it out. from the gym and I think I'm now going to have a quick lunch then clean out the guinea pigs cage and then take a shower guinea pigs need a little bit of spot cleaning because they basically have hay everywhere I kind of put hay everywhere for them to cuddle and guinea pigs do love to sleep in hay um, so they really love to just chill out there um, cuddle with it and just be really sleepy so obviously the downside to that is that it now looks really, really messy and of course they pee and poop everywhere now. 